All right, our stick is dry, nice and shiny. Looks like it's ready to go. Now it's time for the wrap. Yo, 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 this is my walking stick. We're about to put a paracord wrap on it. It's not exactly the wrap I was talking about. And I will keep my day job, but we are actually gonna start the paracord wrap. So, I really like this walking stick. I like the shape of it, but um, it's actually a lot nicer with, um, with the coating on it, um, especially for grip. But I did want something so that your hand's not really slipping off of it. So I'll just show you, we're not gonna get into um, how to start your paracord business, but um, I'll just show you kind of how, how to do a quick wrap on this. So what we're planning on doing is that we're actually gonna be hooking two loops together. And it's actually gonna look like that. So we're gonna need a couple pieces of tape. And we're gonna start. This is sitting flat here, so if I want the pattern on the wrap to change, I'll, I'll turn it later. But for now, we're gonna tape the top and tape approximately where we want the bottom. Let's just go a little bit below the bottom. I've got two pieces of tape on here just to hold the main area where we're gonna have the wrap. So we're gonna wrap in between these two pieces of tape. Afterwards, I'll show you how to pull it all together. So we're gonna loop this around the stick. And then we're going to go under this loop This is about 12 feet of paracord. You don't need 12 feet of paracord. It was already pre-cut, so I didn't cut it again. So now we're just going to connect these loops. So I'm looping one loop inside the other loop. So now, as you can see, I've done a loop and I've got, so I've looped it down and I've come back and then I've actually done um, a loop here on one side and I'm connecting another loop to it. I'm gonna go back around the other side. Sometimes it sucks to use a little bit extra length because then you've gotta pull it through. But now we're gonna pull this nice and tight. Come back around, loosen it up a little bit and we're gonna pop it through this other side. Pull it through. and go back around. So as you can see, that's the pattern. I'll show you what it looks like in a second. So now, we just wanna make sure this thing is nice and tight. If you want, you can actually turn the, the um, spine here to anywhere you want, if it's comfortable or more, more comfortable a different way or if it's twisted a little bit or anything else. You can take the tape off of the top and the bottom Slide that out. And so I'm just gonna do one more loop here to show you how we're gonna finish this. So that's good to go. Now we're just going to stick the tail through that end loop once it's nice and tight and pull the top loop through. Because it's got urethane on it, this might be a little bit harder to do. And it's really tight. And I didn't leave much string. One second. So now we're just gonna pull this through. If you, uh, don't do it quite as tight, you won't have to pull it through with pliers. 
So that's going to help just pull everything down and just make sure that everything is nice and tight. Now we're just going to cut these off and just use a basic lighter to light the ends. So we're going to leave a little bit of slack here, just a little bit, because we want to be able to just kind of mush it down and not light the urethane on fire. This process will help it to stop from fraying. So we're just going to cut these off and um, this was actually 12 feet of cord. Um, turns out that it was actually really close as far as uh, the length. There wasn't too much left over. I thought it was going to be a little bit much, but it also depends on how far you go with the actual wrap itself. So we're just going to light that and then just kind of mush it down a little bit with the bottom of the lighter just so it doesn't fray. And I'll do the top. And you want to just be careful of the wood and the other paracord just so you're not doing any damage. You want it to be beautiful, don't you? So there it is. You can throw some other accessories on if you like. Um, I did a Turk's head, um, let's call it handle, um, which is just the um, the knot itself, you can do a monkey's fist um, or anything else you like. Uh, I won't show you how to do that, especially, uh, it's hard enough to see this on video, but uh, to see that on video, it would be even harder. So uh, if you want to do that, feel free to look it up if you want. Um, but we've got our handle, we've got our walking stick, and if you want, you can always do any other accessories um, with the paracord stuff. I really liked it myself. Um, I've got actually a ammo can full of paracord, different colors, reds, even pink, and, um, and other different kinds of colors, some blues and some whites, and of course, you know, your regular camo colors. Um, so there's all kinds of different stuff you can do with this project. Uh, you can do it on your walking stick or on anything else you like. If you want any other projects on doing uh, paracord projects, or even, you know, if you've got any ideas of other cool stuff you want to do with a piece of a tree or a stick, then uh, feel free to let me know. Um, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for joining us on DIY Like a Pro.